and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, guys, welcome back. In today's video, we'll be setting up Nietzsche Saturday. And if that's something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel, hitting the like button and commenting below as it does help the growth of my channel. Okay, so like I like to do at the beginning of these videos, I will be uh, focusing on some shout outs from the last video regarding this right here. But in the description, as well as the pinned comment, I will put when the planning actually begins. Now, it's, <laughs> I think this might be the longest one that I've had. I think there are over 30 comments. So it's going to be a minute, but guys, please bear with me. So this is the ugly Christmas sweater from the 3rd of August through the 9th of August. Tanya with an O called this grandma. <laughs> okay. Well, let me focus. <laughs> Grandma's sweater after she got run over by a reindeer, and I can hear the song in my head. That's that's why it was distracting me. Or flamingos with attitude, and honestly, both of them <laughs> work. Juriana called this "Help the Flamingos." Um, I believe she uh, lives in the Caribbean, and so there's like flamingo sanctuaries or whatever um there in her area and she really loves them and I just I felt bad because I've been dogging on the flamingos but then I don't because you know flamingos <laughs> hi Miss Yarelli hi Lisa T and I'm glad that I could make you smile hey Jen from nerdy panda plans how you do sweetie Kay Kelly <laughs> I called this two different things. Um, stripper snack because of the pineapples and shrimp flamingos. Although maybe that's also another stripper snack. I don't I don't know. <laughs> Holy macaroni indeed. Hi Kathleen. Hi TJ. How you guys doing today? Tanya with an A. Okay. Tanya Tanya came for it today. So she had called this Floridian Mardi Gras stripper or Bucky can't and Bucky just can't <laughs> vintage Vavoom's ugly sweater and Flamingo Forkle because if you've been here for a while you know I just love the, the Arkles the Farkles <laughs> so thank you for that uh, Debbie yes from Plan Do Repeat thank you so much for inspiring this <laughs> <laughs> you definitely need to check her channel out she's pretty awesome and she had called this floridian shrimp eating flamingos side eye during a glitter storm and actually when i wrote it down i had to put breaks in it because i thought that the shrimp were eating the flamingos but it's it's how you group it together so it's floridian shrimp eating flamingos the flamingos are the ones eating the shrimp yeah i had to explain that to myself you're welcome colleen before i start and this is colleen from new jersey uh i hope i hope you're doing okay sweetie i read in another comment that isaiah is as whatever that hurricane name was it's like isaiah but like more a's and i's uh was just all up in your business and so i hope you and yours are doing okay if any of you have been affected by that hurricane i hope you and yours are doing okay uh, so Colleen from New Jersey <laughs> had called this over the hill Jersey strippers. Okay. <laughs> Andy from it's a reading thing .com. I will link her blog or her blog channel below. Wait, is it called a blog channel? Her blog website. That's what it is. Her, her website. That's a blog. I'll link her below. <laughs> I don't know why I had such a brain fart right there, but I did. But she had said, imagine that the Alfred Hitchcock movie, The Birds, had been populated by flamingos instead. And I, I can see that visual. I really can see that visual. And Im immediately after I read that, I'm like, nope. Because I think those people went in the house. If I saw a town full of flamingos, see ya. Bye. I, I gotta go now. <laughs> 
they've all amassed and I know why because I've been talking some smack I get it I mean I get it but nope nope and she had called this attack of the stripper flamingos with golden booby tassels because classy <laughs> this is classy right here Blue Bonnet had said this reminded her and that she could imagine that vintage vavoom, that's me, had <laughs> went on vacation to Florida, partied too hard, and hurled on my planner's spread. <laughs> and I'm not even mad at it. <laughs> Miss D had called this uh, Sick in Paradise, and she absolutely agreed. This does look like uh, Florida and Mardi Gras had a baby, so yay. Hello, AJRYB, uh, and I think I'm going to enjoy the ugly sweater spreads for this month, too, so thank you for that comment. Anna M. had referenced Chandler Bing, Chalon Lerbong. I think that's his ulterior, uh, uh, not ulterior name, but his other name when they sent a mail or something like that I don't know my sister was really into friends I only kind of fringed watched it but she referenced um, Chandler Bing in her comment and she had some suggestions for names as well uh, gold lips don't lie side-eyed flamingos and this one I really enjoyed be a pineapple stand tall wear your ugly sweater and stick them with your pointy crown <laughs> yes absolutely Stick it with your pointy crown. <laughs> hey, Maureen. And yes, I do definitely love playing on Nietzsche Saturday. It just, it, it's a way to cap off the week for me. Plus, I know that I'm going to get to enjoy uh, some time with you guys. And so that definitely helps me as well. Okay. Um, now, Shelby, sweetie. <laughs> I loved your comment and I actually felt bad because Shelby is an actual Floridian. <laughs> she's she's from the great state of Florida, you guys. And she said, yep, return of the side-eyed flamingos. And she's not sure what it says about her, but she really liked this. <laughs> Shelby, I think you know what it says about you. <laughs> Classy. That's what it says about you. Hey, Wanda the fam. Uh, Wanda had called this tropical flamingo pineapple flavored kiss and Bucky had passed out from the kiss because I told you guys in the last video, he was kind of off to the side like this. I get it, I, I get it. It's just too much sparkle. It's just too much sparkle. Luann, happy belated birthday. And that was such a fail on my part because I remembered, I remembered, I remembered, then I forgot. And I didn't remember until I saw something that reminded me to remember. <laughs> I know. But happy belated birthday. I can say that now because I totally missed it. But her birthday was August 2nd. And she had called this Flamingo Gaudy Garbage Extravaganza. And I think that's like um, drag queens. I think there's a drag queen whose her name kind of sounds like that. Like L Lestrange something. L yeah extravaganza so that's how I see it in my head hey Miss Laura Lee B and absolutely I agree um, usually the ugly sweaters that are referenced are Christmas themed um, and I, I want you guys to remember that and she look she said that this looked like a grown-up Lisa Frank folder so she had called this either 90s cool or flamingo chic and I actually I really like that because I, I totally get that because uh, if you're familiar with Lisa Frank it's very over the top, it's very layered, it's it's very this, and the colorways are actually quite similar as well, so I, I, I like that. Angie H called this, hello gorgeous, chased by flamingos, eating pineapples, kissed by gold lips in a cheetah jungle. <laughs> And absolutely. And if you if you didn't know what this looked like, let's say uh, you were just working on something else and you were just listening to me, because I know some people um, do that. Uh, that description right there would tell you exactly all you needed to know on what was going on the page. And so I really like that. Pamela had called this, hello, gorgeous, wink, wink, because of that right there. 
And you're right. Um, I, I have to agree. If they were not giving me side eye before I glittered them up and put on the little bows right there, they are certainly eyeing me up now. <laughs> Christy had called this Florida Pimp Flamingos to your stripper gold kiss stains. And okay, I don't know if any of you are too young for this reference, but when I heard that, or when I read that, I heard it to the Robin Leach uh, Champagne Wishes and Caviar Dreams. That's how I heard what she had wrote in my head. Yeah, I know. Now I have to say, even though I am a huge fan of Tanya with an A's Flamingo Farkle, because you know with me with the KLs, the Farkle just gets me every time. Uh, Beth B, I think, had the most clever, where she called this, let's flamingo. <laughs> I love it. I love that it's a play on two words. Let's flamingo and mingle. Let's flamingo. <laughs> love it. Lolo Charms had called this gaudy flaw, and that hits a lot of different things, because it's supposed to rhyme with Mardi Gras, because that but then flaw is also short for flamingos you guys are so clever i love that kimberly m had called this flamingo rock and while she was writing her comment and naming this she could hear the miami vice tv show theme song the one from the 80s in her head now i i couldn't tell you what the theme song was i actually never watched that show um and i know there was crockett and there was tubs I couldn't tell you who was who, but I know there was Crockett, there was Tubbs, there was lots of those pastel jackets with the uh, tank tops underneath. Yeah, it was super good time for men's fashion. Uh, Sip Just For Me called this Messy Bushy Kiss Face Flamingo. And Susan T called this Those Flamingos at Their Ugly Disco Party. <laughs> All I need is a disco ball and absolutely, although I guess those lips could kind of, oh, maybe even the pineapples all glittered up could be a flamingo disco ball party prop. Yes, I love it. Guys, thank you so much for the comments. Now, um, it is Friday night after work. Uh, I was on campus today. It's it's busy. It's going to continue to be busy because I'm mostly a, a paperwork pusher and so it's just I'm drowning in that uh, but I did I was able to write down some things over here I already wrote some things for Saturday and Sunday because I know that there's some things that I'd like to get done and so it is going to be busy but guess what time it is guys guess what time it is Nietzsche Saturday where every Saturday I join Jasmine and Miranda here on YouTube where we work in our skinny classic happy Nietzsche full Benichi, all the Nietzsche's in a planner spread now I always give a shout out to them because they are the ones that originated the hashtag Nietzsche Saturday I'm not actually sure who still does it, but I have not not done it. All right, that seemed that seemed wrong. I have not missed a Saturday <laughs> since I started because it the not not sounded sort of math because the negative but a double negative is a positive. But that always messed me up too. So I have not missed a Saturday for Nietzsche Saturday since we began. So I'm always going to give them a shout out because it, it was their a concept for it. This is the back of this page. I've talked to you guys before. Uh, the Skinny Classic was gifted to me by my friends Kelly and Dee. I didn't put the other page in here, but that's fine. We're just going to use this page right here. I did buy a Skinny Classic notebook and that's where this paper is from i took the notebook to work but i did put some paper in here it doesn't matter what's on the page because we just need the paper because we're going to cover it up anyway now we're going to do something that i haven't done in a while because we are still going to keep to the ugly sweater spread the yes method um but this week because of laura lee's comment uh and i hope i'm saying that right because I think it could either be Laura Lee or Laura Lai, but thank you either way for the inspiration. So we're gonna take Debbie's ugly sweater 
spread idea. And we're gonna actually put in the Christmas part of it because of what Laura Lee said. So I've got this here, Happy Year. I've got Christmas Joy that was gifted to me by my friend Val. And then you guys know this one. I have the stickers from Lux Clever Crafts and I have not ordered and I really need to because the, the mail is super slow. And so I only have four more weeks worth of of these stickers here and then it's got all the date stickers that I generally use but what I was trying to say before I got distracted is I'm going to do a timed challenge yeah I know it's it's been a minute since I've done one of those but I'm going to wipe this out I know it's kind of a cheat and I'm gonna tell you right now if you're new here one I like doing time challenges especially on days like this where I'm a little tired and I still need to edit and upload the video um, because it helps me focus and two even though it's a time challenge if I go over the time I'm, I'm telling you right now uh, nothing's gonna happen <laughs> I don't lose anything <laughs> But it does, I mean, like I mentioned, it does help me focus and not give me a lot of time to actually fart around and, and think too much. All right, so this is my old phone and I keep it for things like this, the timer, and sometimes I jump on the internet while I'm filming because I actually use my regular phone. And so I'm going to put 10 minutes on the timer. And in the 10 minutes, my goal is to get all of the decoration down and most of the functional. I don't know that I'd have enough time to also get down the days and the dates. So that we're going to keep separate. But the decorative and the functional with the theme of ugly Christmas sweater for this week. And this week is the 10th through the 16th, I believe. Now, because of the glare and all of the lights that are around me, I don't know if you can actually see this. I will put it up here, and if I can, um, I'll when I'm editing, I'll keep it in frame, but if the glare is just too bad and it's just too bright, um, just know that it's going off on the side and you'll be able to hear when the alarm goes off, okay? All right, so we're gonna start it and let's go. just gonna do some slapping of stickers on here really I just I want a lot of solid stickers so I think we'd actually be able to get that from here or not <laughs> let's let's do all of these That would be cute. And I do need to make this functional, so quite a few or quite a bit of this is going to be covered up. And if it sounds like I'm flustered, I am. Being on the timer always does that to me. Uh, but also, uh, I don't really have uh, a theme yet in mind, <laughs> or not a theme, but I don't know the plan, so we're, we're just going for it. And so that, that also kind of flusters me as well. I know for just because I, I had this around Christmas time, I wouldn't use these. So I don't consider this a waste uh, just because it will bring in some colors. It gives me some background. It definitely is Christmas themed. And so I, I consider that a win. And let's do some more. Again, just to fill the space in. Okay, that 
actually looks really good. Completely non-functional at the moment, but still looks really good. So we're gonna come back to this one and we're going to use, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted on these right here. I wonder what that would look like on top because it's not transparent, but it's also not paper. So I don't know, which I think will be all right. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> well, that's okay. That's okay. So we're going to put <laughs> Becky. <laughs> and if you're laughing too, you, yeah, we're, we're on the same page. I didn't know what her name was the last time I did a Christmas theme. I think back in July. Her name's Clara, and um, she got a nutcracker for Christmas, and there's a whole ballet. There might actually be a song. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I didn't know her name, so I called her Becky. Um, but I did miss the Sugar Plum Fairy in the last one, so she gets to be here. And I also missed the Rat King, the nemesis of the Nutcracker. So he gets to be right here. And I actually like these Christmas trees. I'm gonna do that down here. And we're gonna stick some stickers down here. Now I would like to bring in a glitter element. And if it looks like I'm avoiding it, I, I am, and I'm avoiding this up here. So that's why we're layering there. And let's do some of these. I don't like the stickers that are sort of like bucket list stickers. I, I don't know why. Well, I, I guess I do, because I never do them. Um, I've never been to a ballet. I'm pretty sure Santa would have something to say if I went to go <laughs> visit him. <laughs> and I mean, I know a lot of these things are, are made for, um, you know, people with kids and whatnot, but I mean, I, I just know these are not stickers that I would use. Black Friday, I've never shopped at Black Friday in my life. Uh, for us, I, I guess because my mom is from Europe where Black Friday is not a thing, uh, we always stayed home. So we, we've never left the house for a Black Friday. Okay, and bring some over here. And it really is just trying to be over the top with this. Again, we are really going for the ugly sweater mentality here. Don't know if that one was in frame. Buck already can't. <laughs> and we'll do this up here. And I don't know if this has glitter pages. Oh no, this one, this one here. It has these, but it's not exactly what I wanted. I think we can do this. Merry everything and happy always. No, because it's clear, and so you wouldn't be able to read it anyway. I don't know that I have enough time. Maybe we can find something in here. Because what I'm looking for is what we used like last time, those, those things of glitter. And I know I have, I just, I couldn't tell you where it is right now. So we are just going to fake the glitter and put a bunch of these things. Because for me, um, when I think of ugly sweater or ugly Christmas sweaters, they usually have like tinsel and garland and usually those are like gold or silver. So I just, I wanna bring some of that in. 
if you can see, but we've got two, almost two and a half minutes left. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, thanks guys. I know you were yelling at me right there. it's just an old sticker book but why they don't want to separate or maybe they can see where they're going and they're like oh no 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 <laughs> yes oh look the nutcracker and becky oh nice <laughs> okay and uh oh no we've got an and over there already so we'll do that right there all right, let's see if we can get some functional down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, might as well keep it. I mean, I don't know who I think I am and I'm gonna cut the holiday gift list off of this considering what's on the page <laughs> so there's that and that's actually gonna be monday through friday and on here i think we'll do this to buy and this will be saturday and sunday don't necessarily want to cut or cover the Rat King's face. There's that. So since we have 30 seconds left, let's put Of course I lost it. Of course. Let's just put some glitter so that it takes some of that. And some of that. And there we are. Okay, so like I said um, off camera, I was going to put the days and the dates. I actually did a little bit of a cheat and added some of these circles and the gold here, as well as the hearts. And as I'm doing this, I'm beginning to see that so even this, it's, it's really colorful, but I think in really order to lean into the ugly sweater theme, uh, a bigger spread might actually be more beneficial because I like the layered look. And this certainly isn't cute, but I still think it's, it's, and it, it, and it could be because um, some of these lean really pastel. So even though they are Christmas themed stickers, they're not traditional Christmas colors that I'm used to. And so maybe that's why it's, it's pulling just muted. So, I mean, I get Christmas, but I don't get full on Christmas ugly sweater from this. And I think, uh, again, last week, because of the colors, I mean, I wasn't going for a Christmas theme at all, but I wasn't really getting um, the, the color impact that I wanted. So I don't know, one, it could be because my layering skills, even on a good day, are not that great, that non-transparent stickers definitely would have been better to make these pop um, colors that are definitely more traditionally Christmas, because, I mean... I've actually had a Christmas tree uh, that I decorated in this kind of tealy and purple and it was really pretty. So I mean that's definitely can be Christmas. And um, I mean I don't I don't know. I, I'd love to know what you guys think below. I definitely think this is interesting. But I'm not mad at it. Well, okay, I'm a little mad at it because I don't think I wasted the stickers. I never think I'm wasting a sticker if I use it in my planner because, you know, a year from now when I do a flip through, I'm gonna look at this and like, oh yeah, now I remember that month where we did the ugly sweater thing. Um, but I wish I had been a little bit more strategic because I really thought that because the, uh, the sticker was on a like a blue background, it would not have um, 
shown so much of what was underneath. So yeah, I mean, that wasn't the best placement, but I think you can still see them and at least they're all on the page now because I did miss these two in the Christmas in July. But yeah, what, what do you guys think? Bucky, he's actually smiling. He's like, yeah, that's, that's not that bad. For you that's not that bad <laughs> which is which is always a good thing what would you call this you can go ahead and leave that in the comment section below guys i love spending um niti saturday with you guys generally uh what i do is i load it so that it goes on at midnight and or yeah 12 a.m. Saturday morning and then when I get up Saturday morning and when I say Saturday morning that's really loose because usually it's around noon but when I get up <laughs> the first thing I always do is check the comments because you don't even know how much those make me smile especially when you guys come up with some of the names on these things because <sighs> use my people I don't know if you guys know that but you are totally my people you you guys get me and you just you give me the room to play and I love that all right guys from Bucky and I hope you guys are staying safe hope you guys are all well and as always aloha